this is July back with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to go over hi-hat patterns. So the first thing you want to do is uh, pick the hi-hats you want to use. Obviously you want it to match your song. I have a quick um, melody to go by. I'm just gonna go with this 808 Mafia hi-hat for the sake of this tutorial. Of course you can use whatever hi-hat you want for whatever song you want. So um, the first thing I'm gonna go over is these quantized values. So typically a trap song is gonna utilize this 1 8 right here. So. It's gonna sound like this. That's the basis of everything right now. So if you start with that, you'll be good for everything. So in order to duplicate what I have right here, I'm gonna hit Command A to select all and then Command D to duplicate it. And then I'll have just keep doing it. Sometimes that's all you need, but if you're like me or the song might call for something more complicated, more thought about, then there's multiple ways you could do things. So the first thing I'm going to go over is, as I said, this right here, which is the quantized values. So aside from 1 8, you have a uh, 1 8 triplet, which is like 1 3rd. You probably see it all the time in uh, FL Studio tutorials. 1 8 triplet is the equivalent of 1 3rd. So let's say I want to do a triplet at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is delete these two. And I have a triplet. And let's say I want to do another one right here. So let's say um, the next thing would be this uh, 16th so I want to add 16th right here the next thing would be 16th triplets so what I'm gonna do now is select all duplicate it and then I'm gonna utilize this 16th triplets over in this section over here for some variation so let's do this this one right here this first one in order to zoom in i'm gonna hit g oh sorry i'm gonna hit h i just zoomed out <laughs> the 116 triplet. I'm going to restart it so you can hear it. So this is what we're looking at so far. Um, after that we have this uh, 30 second. That's what the 30 second sounds like. Next would be 30 second triplets. Um, we could do something with that, say, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
lastly, you got this 164th. Um, 64th in double time. It's a little different than when you're in normal time. So what I use 64th is like a little roll thing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, of course, you would get more in depth with that um, and make it more polished or whatnot. But once you do get it how you want it to sound, gotta sound like a South Side roll where he has a little um, the paint tool in FL Studio and he's just doing some random stuff. <laughs> Gonna hold command and hit the down arrow to move it a little bit. And then I'm gonna do another roll over here. That's pretty much it for all of this besides this bar. If you wanted to duplicate this without it doing anything crazy, then you just hit Command All and then Command A, sorry, to select all and then Command D to duplicate it. And that's what that will look like. Um, next, I want to talk about velocity, which is this down here so it's pretty straightforward if you want to move that I'm gonna delete what I just duplicated and then uh, duplicate it again later so you literally just click on it if you want to change the velocities um, one trick with the velocities is um, this line tool hold down um, hold down option And uh, you could like ramp it. And I just add a uh, variation like every other hat just to make it more humanized. I'm gonna leave this part alone aside from turning it down. So to match the velocities, just hit that uh, equal button there. Another way to do this is to just select this tool first and then hold shift. And you could change all these in unison however you want. So this is what I have. Turn this down a little bit more. Another thing you could do with the velocity is randomize it. So if you click on uh, the tool window up here or hit F8, right here where it says note velocity, you could select all with um, command A. I'm actually only going to select these up here and leave these ones out just because I want those quiet and uh, hit apply and it'll randomize it for you. You could change the values you want to randomize it by. <laughs> So that is an option 
if you ever want to use that you can it's there for you um, next I want to talk about panning okay so the best way to pan is to come up to the mixer channel right click it edit automation and then this window is gonna pop up in this range when I click on it I'm gonna get lines okay so this is what panning it to the right would look like this is what it sounds like now I'm gonna do the same thing to the left right here gonna draw my four points gonna equalize these positions equalize these positions and then move it over whoops like this so panning is a little difficult if you want to get really precise with it, it's going to take some time. So definitely plan on putting some time into that. The last thing I'm going to talk about is different effects you can do to it. The first thing I want to talk about with the effects would be how to reverse. So if you want to reverse a hi-hat, it's really simple. So you're going to hold down Option and click on this sample right here as long as it's selected in the NNXT and then I'm just gonna hit reverse I'm gonna crop this out and then fade it in just in case there's a pop noise and this is what it sounds like save it and then I have a reversed hi-hat <laughs> So that's good if you want to do some type of transition. Um, another effect you could do is add a phaser. So go to your effects, reason devices, and there's a phaser called PH90. Stock. Um, this is what it sounds like right out the box. The phaser is one of my favorite effects to use on a hi-hat. Change the width here. Change the frequency you want it to affect. Uh, the feedback, turn it up, turn it down. The rate. Everything you need is right here in a phaser. You could use whichever phase you want if you have a VST that you're more comfortable with. Go ahead and do it. But um, this one's really great as well. Uh, the next effect I want to talk about is half speed. So we're going to add half time by Cable Guys. It's like, I think, seven bucks, eight bucks. It's less than $10 if you want to go grab it. I'm going to leave the loop on one bar and the mode on two times. That will also be great as some type of transition effect if you don't want it to be um, only the half speed effect just turn down this mix can also act as volume thing I want to talk about is going to be back in the sequencer.
So what I'm going to do is select a few various hi-hats. So with that, it'll sound like this. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Let me know what you would like next. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. See you next time.